Hey, welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the Hiram and Solomon Master Mason. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting milk chocolate, prune, barnyard, and hay. All right, so starting out the cigar here, when you start pulling that smoke in, all right, you're gonna get some spice. You're gonna get like this dark earth. If that makes sense to you, makes sense to me. Then once you get that smoke pulled in, you're gonna get, and I kid you not, you're gonna get some Coca-Cola, all right? Ain't no Pepsi, that's Coke. On the retro hill, you're gonna get just a little hint, a little hint of dark chocolate and some earth in there, all right? And then on the finish, like this leather, roasted coffee, but it's very subtle, but that spice, now I'm telling you, that spice is strong. All over the uh, tongue there, all over the back of the throat. And already I would say this is kicking up to be a full bodied cigar. All right, so we are basically done with the first third here. And, um, Flavor-wise, this thing is going all over the place, and I don't mean that in a bad way. There's just a lot of flavors in here. So, let's get started. That Coca-Cola flavor, that's still there. Got a hint of cherry that's been coming in every now and then. A creamy dark chocolate and some tobacco and even some earth in there. And that's just on the flavors, all right? That's just on the pole there. On the retrohale, you got this like earth and toasty butter. That's the best way I know to describe that. And I'll tell you about butter right now. I was reading something the other day and some fellow referred to something as European butter. I was immediately angry. Now, that's probably because I don't really know what European butter is, but anyway. On the finish, there's still some leather and roasted coffee, but that's kind of died down. And you're getting like a dark chocolate and an earth. And that smoke is really creamy. Now, I'll tell you, our experience here on comedy cigars and music has been that Hiram and Solomon cigars for us anyway are typically very creamy. All right. Now I have had burnt, a couple burn touch ups, touch issues. These are Pete, man, can't even talk today. Anyway, have had two burn touch ups, and that for comedy cigars and music with Hiram and Solomon is uh, not typical. So hopefully that'll uh, figure itself out here and. Uh, We'll keep moving right along. Now, if you guys would like to help the channel out, you're enjoying what you see when you come here, man, there's some nice, uh, kind of a cherry chocolate right there. Not a cherry cordial, now, don't get excited. Just kind of a cherry chocolate right there. Um, you can click the link below to 58ring.com. They're a sponsor of the show. Do a real good job here. Also, you can click the link that goes to the Comedy Cigars and Music shop. You can buy yourself a shirt that says something like this here. You can buy yourself a shirt that says a couple other things on it. Don't be a dillweed, laugh puff rock. Man, what else? Crap. Not that. Doesn't say crap on a shirt, but... And the shirts aren't made of crap. So, anyway. Now, I had something kind of funny happen to me today. I went to uh, Taco Bell. Not a sponsor. And, um person at the drive-thru to take my order, she was real, real quiet. I mean, like, super quiet. I almost thought that uh, maybe they were being held hostage or something there. I mean, she was, like, whispering, like, that girl. Now, you couldn't hear that, and that's the whole part of the story, because I could hardly hear her. She repeated my order back to me, and I said, yeah, that sounds about right. And then she gave me the price, and that was super quiet. All I heard was, it's like a little mouse was talking to me or something. That was kind of weird. Must be weird to have stage fright as a person that uh, works a drive through Or if you're an actor. All right. Now, we are rounding off the second third here, getting pretty close, really. And um, flavor-wise, going to have a little bit of toastiness in there. Now that... Coca-Cola and that cherry that we had before, that's kind of um, combined, joined forces, so to say. So now there's like a cherry cola in there, all right? A little bit of oak in there, 
and some tobacco. On the retro hill, there's earth and a vegetal note, and that retro hill is pretty smooth. Now, on that finish, there's been times where it starts out with this cherry, and that quickly mellows out, mellows in, whatever, mellows sideways into a prune, all right? Then you've also got this roasted coffee slash leather. They've kind of combined here um, on there. Got a vegetal note, and now, just on the past couple draws, finishes, whatever, um, there is this spice that's starting to come back a little bit. Just kind of covering the tongue there, maybe the uh, back or the top of the mouth, palate, whatever. Um, well, that's come back, so that's been good. The components of this cigar, the wrapper is gonna be an Abano Maduro Oscuro. There's a lot of O's in there. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Anyway, a lot of O's. Um, the binder is gonna be Indonesian Sumatra. And then, for the fillers, it's gonna be from Nicaragua. It's gonna be from Jalapa, Ometepe, and Esteli. All right? Now, as that later today, I had to do a couple errands and uh, run a couple errands. Um, anyway, um, there's this four-way stop. There's this lady in a white uh, BMW SUV, and uh, she was apparently wanting somebody else to go when she started flicking her headlights. Anyway, person didn't go. This lady in the BMW just floors it. I mean, floors it. And uh, kind of like that guy there. That's pretty fast. It's a big truck, dump truck. Like that one, thing. Um, anyway, she floors it, and I tell you, I looked in that window, or out that passenger side window, because she was, she's going this way, I'm coming this way, and then she was flashing this person here, got, this person made her mad. And, um, uh, I looked through that passenger window, and I swear I could have seen them little, uh, SUV, BMW, uh, butt cheeks just burning. I don't know, maybe it wasn't that other person at all. Maybe it was, uh, maybe she had the radio on, and somebody said European butter or something, I don't know. All right, we are getting down to the squirrel nuts of this cigar. Now, the flavors have kind of dropped off a little bit here, I gotta say. Um, I did have one burn touch up, no big deal. Flavor-wise, toastiness, oak, and chocolate. Now that oak and chocolate, milk chocolate, we're here from just a little bit. But the overriding flavor in the final third here has been a vegetal note. Uh, not a huge fan of the vegetal note, if I'm being honest with you. Um, the retro hail, that vegetal note is there. And then on the finish, there's a little bit of roasted coffee, milk chocolate from time to time, but that vegetal note is right there in the finish too. So, just not a big fan of that, but, you know, I ain't gonna kick it to the curb, start to fight out of nowhere in a bar for some reason. Uh -huh. Now, rating this cigar on a scale of one to four, um, I would have to give this cigar a two and a half, I think. Because, kind of like, you know, I've had the Inter Apprentice, the uh, Fellow Craft, the Grand Architect. To be honest, I kind of prefer the Inter Apprentice or the Fellow Craft over this one, for sure. And, um, you know, kind of a two and a half, it's kind of like, I liked Rambo 1, but Rambo 2 was my favorite. So, I would say this is a two and a half Rambo 1. Now, saying that, the draw and the smoke output have been excellent. Had a couple burn touch-ups here and there, not a big deal. So, yeah, two and a half, uh, Rambo one. Smoke time for this cigar came out to two hours and four minutes. Now, as always, uh, we appreciate you joining us today. If you enjoyed this review, if you enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I have got a couple comments that you know, maybe these uh, guest reviews aren't for everybody. I get that, trust me, I understand. But um, just the way that we like to do things here at Comedy Cigars and Music makes it fun. And uh, yeah, so anyway guys, until next time, be cool to each other and uh, we'll see you soon.